Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Man, how is your day going? You having a good day? Yes? Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. Maybe you didn't get better. Let's think about it. I'm going to have a great day. I know my name. <laughs> I know what time it is. Yes, that's good. See there, you're already having a better day. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, I've had an unusual day, I must say. I had three friends to talk to yesterday. I mean, today. Today. I'm all confused on what day it is. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, I've been doing videos. Call me, calls people been calling me, and I've been calling them. So we just, uh, we just had a great, great time visiting. And it's so neat when you can see each other like that on that video call. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it with somebody that you know that's, that does the Messenger video call. You just go to Messenger, which is off of Facebook, and you just, you know, uh, I don't know how you get up. You just go there, I think. Oh, no, it's that little squirrely thing, you know, where you message on Facebook. Get that squirrely thing, and then you have an option to call or not. And uh, I don't know details on that. I, <laughs> all I know is I do it. That's all I know. But it is really neat to see someone. Of course, sometimes you just see the top of their heads, but you're just talking, and you visit, you know, 45 minutes. Usually, it's a really nice visit over on a video, video call because we show each other what we're working on and how we're doing and things you've done to the house or whatever seems to come up or just talk about things that's happening, you know. I mean, this is Clyde. That's the back end of him anyway. He's, there you go. <laughs> he, he, I was in his way just today, so... <laughs> Well, I tell, did I tell you that I had a dream about that diamond mine? <laughs> I did. Let me, you want me to tell you my dream? Okay. This is my dream. Okay. I've, I've got someone to take me to the diamond mine. I mean, to the crater of diamonds there in Hot Springs. And they're going to go get my bucket, you know, and bring it to me. A bucket of dirty rocks. And I put it in a tub and I wash them up with my rubber gloves and try to find my diamond. So I'm just washing on the rocks and everything and trying to find my diamond. Well, I do. I find that little tiny diamond, okay? Oh, I'm so glad, you know. So I, I get over to where they measure it and check the grams and all those, you know, all the information pertinent to your diamond that you found. So I'm in there waiting on them to uh, get to me because there's somebody ahead of me. And finally they took my diamond and they were, you know, gauging it for grams and, you know, all the stuff that they do. And then they put it in this little tiny plastic box. Well, in this little tiny plastic box, this little tiny diamond I found, right? <laughs> well, this guy walks up to me on the left-hand side, you know, and, and the girl behind the desk there was evaluating my diamond. I uh, said, hi, cowboy. <laughs> and he said, hi, how are you doing today? Boy, it's hot out there today or something like that. Real skinny guy, really skinny. But he had a, uh, a cowboy hat on. You tell he'd been out there working in the mud and dirt and rocks. You know, and he was washing a lot of rocks. He said he went through 10 buckets of rocks a day, when, a day when he goes through and he cleans his rocks and everything. Well, I turn around and look at him because I really didn't pay any attention to him except for his hat. Well, he had a, a, bu a buckle, a buckle, belt buckle, is that what a belt buckle? And on the belt buckle, it had, looked like rhinestones all in it, you know, that had been put into this brass but, uh, what do you call it? Buckle. Buckle. Belt buckle. 
And I was I was looking at the belt, but of course I was short and it looked like I was looking maybe, you know. And so he looked at me and I said, this is my diamond. Because I thought I'd better change the subject, you know. This is my diamond. See, I found it today. And the lady about this. Oh, cowboy, he's been here a lot. He's got a lot of diamonds. Did you see his bell buckle? And I said, yes, I did. With all the rhinestones. She says, no, ma'am. Those are diamonds. <laughs> all the itty bitty diamonds. He had them in th that belt buckle. <laughs> he said he'd never sell his diamonds. And he said he's got a lot of little boxes at home, too, with some more diamonds. <laughs> but I thought it was so cute. He had a in his book. But there were all the little tiny ones, you know. But this was my dream now. This was not a true story. <laughs> this was a dream. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to give me some diamonds. But, but then I got a message from uh, Joy Bird, and it says... You could have the way some do that hunt gold. They have someone to buy you a bucket of dirt and bring it to you. I have done that before. There you go. Have them bring a bucket to me. Now, that was not even considered one of my options. But now that the Joy Bird told me this, I'm going to call Crater Diamonds tomorrow. And not that I doubt you, Joe Bird, Joy Bird. No, it's not that I doubt you. <laughs> I'm going to follow through how much that bucket cost. <laughs> then I'll worry about how to get down there. <laughs> oh, not unless somebody buys a bucket from there and brings it to me. Now, that could be another option. <laughs> Thanks for the information, Joy Bird. I appreciate your... your comment and that's very important to know because you know when you find out something you want to do no matter how it is uh you just gotta find another way to do it I never considered that i never considered that but i will i definitely will thank you Troy Bird. thank you so much well i let me see if i've got any any what i'm missing this morning I mean, yes. This is... <laughs> this is... Bonnie Meyer says, I always kept a schedule when I worked, but now I don't make a schedule because something always happens to change it. Either that or I'm just plain lazy. <laughs> Oh, Bonnie, how could you be? No, you're pacing yourself. Remember, we're pacing ourselves. <laughs> and this from Jill. Hi, Jill. Mima, remember when we were little girls and it was raining and we'd beg our mama to let us go out and play in the rain? She'd be sure there wasn't any thunder or lightning, and then she'd let us play in the rain. It was so fun, jumping in the puddles. <laughs> yes, you were a puddle jumper, too. <laughs> you know, it's just fun. You know, I don't know if mothers let their little girls and guys do that anymore, <laughs> but I wish they would. I think children need to know a little bit about the plain simple fun and that is one yes i can see you now jumping in that mud puddle <laughs> we had a we had a ditch that my daddy mowed all the time kept it real smooth and, and it really was nice cushioned grass so when it rained the water went down that that little ditch and the grass was in the bottom, so you could walk in the ditch itself on the on the uh, green grass. And then we made little boats with a stick and pour down rain with you. And then after the rain, we were still pushing our little boats. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yes, puddle jumping Jill. Puddle jumping Jill. That's how. 
Yes, playing in the rain is fun, that's for sure. It's from Teresa, says, love all the wonderful things you've got today. Loves and hugs. Yes, I did. I really am appreciative of all the things that are sent to me from all of y'all. Y'all have just been a true blessing. And I've got to show you what my sister brought me today. She told me, i got to take things up. Is that not adorable? <laughs> hey, Spot. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> and I think it's a, a planter, is what I think it is. But I'm putting some of my hooks in there. It'd be nice and convenient. And it looks like looks like the little puppy is uh, spot is wearing flowers in his hair. Love is everywhere. <laughs> well, hi, Spot. Hi, Spot. I need to bring a little Gigi over here to sit with you. <laughs> oh, I want to show you what my sister brought today. Besides that, that's what... <clears throat> she, uh, okay, I'm going to lift it up so you can see what it is. <clears throat> Pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Okay, here we go. Let's take a quick look. Is that not adorable? Huh? Is that adorable? Well, she's going to put it on the wall here beside me so I keep my books, my library books in it. And it's a drawer. And she took a drawer out of something, I don't know, and then cut the, the, the drawer off. See where she cut the drawer off here? <clears throat> and made it the same length of the size of the books. And these are my books for this month. Well, last, well, yeah, this month. And I'm picking, they're supposed to bring me tomorrow my <coughs> September books. Oh, I gotta get my bookmarks out of there or I'll lose them. But anyway, isn't that adorable? And you can I mount it on the wall as a shelf. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Right now I have it sitting on the table. But is that not absolutely clever? I'll tell you, my sisters can do anything. Anyway, I'm going to put this back real quick, but I wanted to let you see this because it's so adorable. She just took the saw and cut it, the drawer, <laughs> and made the size she wanted. I mean, there you go. <laughs> okay, drawer, where you go? I'll put you down here. But I thought you'd enjoy seeing what she did. <laughs> oh, Connor, about to hit your head there? Okay, there we go. So, so my friend, up, I got, you know, the Sharon up there in the hills. I talked to her today, and she says, Barbara, you won't believe, but I was sitting in the bathroom. All of a sudden, the bathroom, the toilet went like that. And the whole house went that way. We had an earthquake here in Arkansas. You know, we have them all the time up there in the northeast part of the state. We have them quite a bit. And they're doing a lot of fracking up there, too. So that may be the cause of it. But that was, she says, that's the one, the, the biggest one she's felt because of that new mattress. N new madras, madras, new madras fault. That runs across right through Blyville there on the northeast corner of the state of Arkansas. But she says, yeah, I felt that. <laughs> she says, it's a wonder she didn't fall off of the toilet. <laughs> but she says, they're having a lot of rain up there in the hills. So everything's green. It says, a rose. she's got six rail spuds. I mean, <clears throat> she says, I'm hoping the deer don't eat them tonight <laughs> yeah it's hard to keep the the deer from eating your flowers you know and then I talked to uh, Jean uh, in uh, Florida she called me down there in uh, Acala 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 Florida 
and they live in a part of Florida where all the storms go around them. So they don't have any problem with, you know, any kind of hurricanes or anything like that. Where she says every time a storm comes through, bad storm, it just goes right around them. She said, I'm glad I live here. She says, but it showers there for about an hour every day about 3 o'clock. And I was thinking, boy, the humidity must be really high there. And I, I was thinking, when you know, in, in Hawaii when I was there, it rained every afternoon. Or in Hawaii, you know, you can go one part of the island and it'd be raining, and on the other side of the island, it would be dry and have a desert-like thing. <laughs> I mean, Gordon, what kind of day you want to have? You just change, you know, and the island's not that big. You know, the main island, so you can take a day trip and if you get too cold or something, you go to the other side. Not that it gets cold, I'm not saying that, but anyway. And then I called to Gigi this morning. She's preparing, you know, for her home for her having her knee replacement. And she was showing me some of the crochet projects she was doing when she was growing up and stuff. She's a, she's delight too. So. And she's from uh, Louisiana. Louisiana. It's always fun. You know, video calls are just a lot of fun. They really are a lot of fun. Well, I don't have anything except that I'm working on this today. I've been watching some of the other YouTubers and, and uh, enjoying them. And I'm going to have to call tomorrow the Crater of Diamonds and see what kind of services they offer there. I should know. I worked for Parks and Tourism for about five years. Oh, it was a lot of fun, too. I enjoyed working there. That's where I got my my little stipend. <laughs> I call it enough to get your hair done every month, you know, retirement from them. But the one thing I got from the state that I really was proud of is that insurance before. Uh, you know, I got Medi Medicare and everything. But I think this red is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Huh? She's painted that. My sister did. Can you see what it is? And you can set it on the table. Or you can hang it on the wall. See where it's got a little hanger on the back. It says, May you always stay happy in your heart, Marsha. And she painted that for me. With the, there's my S. Do you see it? Isn't that pretty? And inside, you keep flower seeds. Well, I did when I was up in the hills. But now I keep rubber gloves in there. <laughs> They're very useful, you know. <laughs> and uh, she's got another thing that she ha has here, and it's a holds popcorn. I'll show it to you tomorrow if I think about it. She does this work, kind of paints. She's done it for years. She's wonderful at it. And I treasure these. Also, she got me this that I, I just love. And you may have one. But it's one of those, uh, uh-oh, I lost one even. You know, one of those, uh, have y'all got one and do you like them? It works real good with a ball of yarn, but the skein has to be made into a ball for this to really work like I want it, like I want it to do, you know. Anyway, that's my show and tale today. Uh, hope that you have a great day. Remember, God has you in His hands. Pray for Mother Earth and for our bees. Have a great, great day, and I will visit with you 